Thanks for checking out this video. So this is the second installment in me pulling out films from my collection and saying, hey, just wanted to let you know about these films. So this one is a different topic. This is the most extreme films that I own at the moment. Um, and yeah, uh, people will probably have seen, definitely seen some of these uh, who are watching this video. Uh, some of them, maybe not though, so it might give you some ideas. And when I say extreme, it's it's two different ways. Some of them are more extreme where it's just like unbelievably violent and gory and they're kind of hard to watch. Other ones, it's unbelievably violent and gory, but they're just fun. And that's actually the first one of six. And I am going in order of least recommended to most recommended in this, um, in this stack. So the first one is called Meatball Machine. Now, this is a Japanese film that's all about the gore, all about the fun. Uh, there was a time period, and I was actually looking... Um, this is put out by Danger After Dark. I thought it was maybe it was like a Tokyo uh, Shock, but no, it's not. So uh, this came out kind of during the time period of just like crazy, crazy films. Um, when Takashi Miike started getting really popular in the United States, they were kind of throwing out all these wacky Japanese films uh, where it's just over-the-top gore and crazy concepts, and this is definitely one of them. Basically, the concept is these like alien creatures using human bodies as like mechs to fight each other. So basically they modify human bodies with some cybernetic components uh, to create these crazy fighting machines. Well, and when the fighting happens, there's plenty of blood and gore and all that. So it's pretty fun. It's not a serious film at all, so it's not like too intense or scary or anything, but I'd recommend Meatball Machine. Very gory. The next one is in the same vein, basically, and from, kind of from the same time period, and that is Tokyo Gore Police. This one is a Tokyo Shock film. Um, pretty similar. This one's a little bit more close to disturbing than Meatball Machine was. It has more wacky concepts that um, have disturbing visuals, actually, but it's also fun. It's also over the top, and it's also super gory, so if you're into that stuff, I would also recommend Tokyo Gore Police. And... For this one, you know, I don't even need to give you a concept, really. Uh, the, the cover tells you everything. It's a woman who's fighting things with a sword, and they're crazy-looking, like mutant-type things. Just trust me. Check it out. It's nuts. Now, the next one, I have the whole trilogy of these, but the first one by far is the most extreme, and I'll, if you've been watching Joe Bob Briggs on Shudder, you've probably seen this one, and that is Dead or Alive. Uh, I, ha I got the... Um, this is put out by Kino Video, the three-pack I got a long time ago. Always been a fan of this. I love Takashi Miike. This is insane. It's over the top. It has one of the most awesome intros to a movie I've seen. It's very engaging and cool. But it's, you know, Yakuza stuff, but over the top killing and gore. And plenty of other really wacky stuff that ends up showing up in this. Um, so I recommend it. If you know Takashi Miike, you'll have an idea of some of the wacky stuff that's going to come up. But then again, maybe you won't know exactly how far it goes in this. Because it goes far. Uh, the next one is another Takashi Miike film, which I'm sure a lot of people actually have seen, and that is Audition. Now, with this film, I recommend people not knowing a whole lot about it. But the problem with this is, when you have a DVD or Blu-ray that has this cover, you already know too much about it. I was successful one time in recommending someone watch this. They got it through Netflix DVD, so they didn't have a cover to it, and I told them not to read the description before watching it. They were upset with me after the fact because they knew not at all what they were getting into. Uh, this is a film that it's very slow to get going, uh, but once it does at the very, very end, it's a crazy payoff, and it is kind of uncomfortable for a bunch of people. It is insane, over-the-top, nuts, brutal. Uh, so yeah, if you've never seen Audition, you gotta see Audition. And then, <laughs> the third Takashi Miike film in a row, I swear the last one is not Takashi Miike, but the third Takashi Miike in a row is Ichi the Killer. Now this was the first, oh this is also Tokyo Shock, this was the first film that I ever saw that made me think, you know, if I could see this film and feel okay afterwards, I can see a lot in a film. Uh, this is over the top. It's another one that's by Takashi Miike that's it's based in Yakuza stuff, but super gory, super violent, super sadistic, actually. 
Um, so if you're into that, a lot of it's violence for the sake of violence and over the top for the sake of over the top. Um, when a friend of mine introduced this to me many, many years ago, he said, I'm going to give you this movie, but watch it when you're alone and there's no chance that anyone will walk in because if anyone sees you watching this film, there might be questions. And I was like, okay, but it's a very good film if you can take super extreme and uncomfortable. There you go. And then the number one, one that I had a hard time getting through, and but actually at the end of it, I was very pleased with the film. While I was watching it with a friend, I literally turned to him and said, I really hope there's a point to all this brutality in this film, because if there's not, I'm going to be pretty pissed, because I don't like it when it's in there for no reason. But trust me, it's there for a reason. But until you get there, it's tough. And that film is Martyrs by Pascal Laguier. If you've seen Incident in a Ghost Land, that is also Pascal Laguier. And uh, it has a similar feel to it, being super bleak, being very hopeless, uh, humanity-wise, and rough and brutal. And yes. So if you've seen Incident in a Ghost Land, it's even more bleak in Martyrs and harder to get through. But if you can get through it, it is actually a really good film, and I do recommend it. This is the most extreme film I own at the moment. Not because it's over the top with, like, gore and stuff, but the whole feel of it. Now, when this film was made, Pascal Laguier, who wrote it and directed it, had said that he had gone through horrible depression, and when he created the script in this film, he wanted to be able to take what he felt from his depression and put it into a film so other people could feel it. I think he did a good job. That's my top recommend on that one. So anyway, not a light topic, but uh, hopefully people enjoyed that, and that was my second one of these type videos. I'm going to do one more. I don't know if there's any others I'm going to come up with, but um, hopefully you enjoy this. Put some comments down there, especially if you've seen any of these and your thoughts on them. Do me a quick favor, though. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, that's your best way to pay me back for doing any of this stuff if you like what I'm doing. And if you're already subscribed, hit the thumbs up just to let me know you're still watching. But thanks everyone for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.